What's up? Hey, what's up? So two 12-year-old girls lured another 12-year-old girl into the woods. They then stabbed her 19 times in order to prove that the Slender Man myth was real. They thought if they killed this girl, Slender Man would come and take them to his mansion. For those of you who aren't sure who Slender Man is, he's kind of like a mythical paranormal creature. He's depicted like this, as a tall Slender Man without a face in a black suit. And his arms are supposed to be extendable. According to the stories on the internet, he stalks, kidnaps, and traumatizes children. So my one question is, why would these girls want to meet Slenderman? He sounds like a pedophile. He does not sound like a guy you want to hang out with when you're 12 years old. The girl who was stabbed 19 times actually did survive. She got stabbed 19 times and managed to crawl out of the woods, and the doctors say that she was millimeters away from death. One of the stab wounds was millimeters away from stabbing one of her main arteries, which would have killed her. But this girl survived, and she's in stable condition now. And good, because I don't like to talk about 12-year-old girls that get brutally murdered by other 12 year old girls. These two girls that stabbed the other girl, they were planning this murder for a month. They'd been reading up on Slender Man on the internet and they wanted to prove that he was real. Cause you know, if it's on the internet, it's gotta be real, right? They actually found most of the information on a Wikipedia page where people upload their scary stories and ghost stories. And someone said something on there about how if you kill someone, Slender Man will come and take you to his mansion. And they believed it and wanted to prove that it was real. But if these girls took the time to actually do a little bit of research on Slender Man, they would have found out a whole different story. Slender Man was created in 2009 by a man who just entered a Photoshop contest. The contest was to Photoshop some paranormal activity into an actual photo and to make it look as realistic as possible. So this guy entered this picture into the contest and he left a really cool backstory about Slender Man. And from there it took off. People really liked the idea of Slender Man so they started posting their own pictures with Slender Man in it with their own backstories and it developed into what it is today. So if these girls just took the time to think about what they were reading on the internet and be as smart about what they were reading on the internet, they would have realized that stabbing this girl was a very bad idea. I don't understand what thought process led to them making this retarded decision. Their brain must be working on such a low frequency that only the slowest, most disconnected people in the world can tap into it. And you know what? The best part of this story is these two girls are being tried as adults. And I fucking love that. Because they need to set an example for fucking teenage kids that go out and do this stupid shit. You gotta think before you fucking act, you stupid 12 year olds. If these girls are convicted, they're gonna be doing up to 65 years in jail. They're basically gonna spend the rest of their lives in jail. They will get out of jail when they're 77 and they're not gonna know what the fuck is going on in the world. They better hope they die in jail. Because when they get out, it's gonna be a whole new world and they are gonna be fucked. And I don't feel bad for them. They deserve for their lives to be fucked. They tried to murder another 12 year old girl. She wouldn't even be alive because of these two girls. And they were planning this murder for a month. They premeditated this for a month. This girl had no idea that her two friends were planning on murdering her. They're still hanging out with her. They just finished having a sleepover with her before they took her out to the woods to kill her. And the girls both took turns holding her down and stabbing her. And at one point the girl being stabbed tried to crawl away and they pulled her back and said just die. Stay still and die and they thought she would bleed out but no she didn't she got away and I'm glad this story has a happy ending the smart 12 year old girl gets to live the two dumbass 12 year old girls can brought in jail for the rest of their fucking lives and I don't give a shit and I know some people are gonna be like well they're 12 their frontal lobes aren't developed yet they can't make proper decisions but come on there's a difference between not being able to problem solve and planning a fucking murder for a month they knew what they were doing. This wasn't a spur of the moment act. They deserve to be tried as adults. And obviously there's a parent factor in this. These kids were obviously on the internet too much. They were on the internet so much that it started distorting their reality. These girls really thought they were going to see Slender Man though. One of the girls even had a picture of her family because she didn't want to forget what they looked like. Because she thought she was going away for a long time. Well. <laughs> it's a good thing you brought that picture because you are going away for a long time. So you can put it on your cell wall. Oh, Will you show me how to use shit. it? I couldn't find it. Oh, shit. Tell him it's packing heat. What if I have to use one? Uh, 